Developing this morning, thick smoke filled the air overnight as firefighters battled the flames that destroyed this vehicle. Police are still looking for the driver who slammed into a home, sparking the fire. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick tells us about the investigation. Ryan, a pretty incredible scene here on 167th Street. Police tell us a car was traveling westbound when it crossed this creek, went into this yard before it crashed into that garage. Now, the good news is no one was home and a neighbor was able to escape before both houses caught fire. The house was engulfed in flames. I didn't even notice there was a car in it until the officer had said that there was a car that had careened through the house. Tinley Park firefighters were able to get the fire under control quickly, and now the investigation shifts to this vehicle. It was destroyed and has since been towed away. Authorities say the extensive damage making it difficult to identify the VIN number and license plate. Another challenge to the investigation, police have not found the driver despite contacting local hospitals and searching near the scene. Uh, the fire department working with police did search the uh, area right behind us here with our thermal imaging cameras overnight, check the fields, check the neighbor's houses and things like that. Neighbors still in disbelief this morning, hopeful whoever was behind the wheel turns themselves in. Looking at the damage and looking at the car just just now. I don't know how anyone could have jumped out of it and went running down the street, but you never know. Now the car you see here still on scene was the car that was actually inside the garage at the time of the crash and belongs to the owner of that home. Crews are expected to be here on scene cleaning up for much of the day. In Tinley Park, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News.